Hello everyone, it's Stacey from The Loom Room here and um, this is Reasons to be Cheerful part 9. Um, today I'm just standing, I'm taking you different places of the garden and today I'm standing in front of this beautiful, beautiful, well I'm not sure what the plant is actually. If I get out of the picture and show you what this beautiful plant is, perhaps someone will be able to tell me, give me an, an idea of what the, what the plant actually is. It's like a small rose but no thorns which is absolutely gorgeous. So I hope that got close enough for you to actually see it. <laughs> I wanted to talk today about the power of friendship. Um, we have a friend staying with us right now. Her name is Joy and she is a joy. We're very lucky, we're very fortunate. We have a big house and a big garden and we have the room to be able to do this, which we do appreciate is, is not that usual for most folks. Um, Joy, I met her about two and a half years ago in the local patisserie and she's been in the process of buying a house here in France just near us in Nerac and she's basically she's had the renovations done but she's not able to move in because she doesn't have furniture for, for living if you like she doesn't have a, lou um, a sofa she doesn't have a bed excuse me itchy nose um, so bef bef she was all ready for it to all happen just before lockdown and of course when lockdown happened we thought well what can we do about this so she's she's living with us and I have to say it's an absolute joy um, she is working in the garden like a Trojan she's digging up loads of ivy we have lots of ivy we've, we've lived here for about this is our fourth year now and we had the place while well, we were doing renovations a year before that and then two years before that was when it was left empty when its previous owners passed on and they did a fabulous job with our garden as you can see with all these beautiful plants that we have around and joy has been doing a lot of ivy clearing so she's our ivy queen but it's been absolutely brilliant we have um aperos together at, at the at sort of about six o'clock at night she and i sa share some cremant d'alsace graham has a beer one of his own usually and um we we basically have some some aperos which are just nibbles we put together a little platter we chat we enjoy the sunshine at the moment what well, fabulous weather and then we have dinner together and then we play games and we usually play cluedo or scrabble and we're having a lot of fun uh, Joy is a lovely character. She's She's got a great sense of humour. And well, she speaks chicken. I mean, if I just say that, you, you understand. She's on our wavelength. <laughs> so we have chicken conversations. Anyway, and because we've got a big enough house, I, my husband can brew his beer here. He, he's working in the garden. And he's teaching cello and uh, piano online. He's doing that through WhatsApp, I think. And I have my weaving studio. And Joy is busy in the garden. We're busy, all of us, doing various different things all day and then we get together in the evenings and it's a really sociable time and we realise how lucky we are to have each other. She would have been very lonely on her own in a new house, in a lockdown where you can't be sociable with your neighbours, you can only say hello across the fence but you can't get to know them properly. And she's bringing so much joy to our lives as well. And it's not just that, we're also keeping in close contact with friends and family through phone, through texts, through FaceTime, through WhatsApp and spending that time with friends and family, doesn't matter where they are in the world, it's, those relationships are really, really important. We are so lucky here that we have lots of good friends, I mean really good friends. English speaking and French speaking friends and it is we we know we we know we really are lucky but this time it's not it's not just about us today it's you know we all have this opportunity now don't we to to talk to each other the time to further those relationships to really keep in contact to really connect sorry keep splitting infinitives my husband would go mad but really to chat to each other to get involved in each other's lives in perhaps a way that we haven't done in decades because of the pace of modern life so 
to all my friends who, you know, whether you're virtual friends, whether I've met you online, whether I've met you in person, can I say I really appreciate our friendship. And for everybody, I know we all appreciate each other's friendships. So today, the reason to be cheerful, power of friendship. See you next time from the Southwest France. Keep safe, keep well. Bye-bye for now.